Now there we go, guys. That's an intro. Hello. Now, TRK, I hope the W means like you doing well on a test. But then you don't want you don't want to delve into the realms of bragging about yourself. So maybe that's just your favorite letter. Now, if you're talking about W like my dad's birthday, he did have a good birthday. Okay, TRK, that's a good prediction. Okay, TRK. You know, you know, I, I will let my dad know after this broadcast. You guys have been very kind. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> almost, uh, almost showed a Highlander leak. One second. <laughs> Let me just uh, close this document here. All right. Anyway, <gasps> we're back. Uh, PJ, when did I say that? You see, PJ's just trying to start something. He's trying to get TRK to go crazy the rest of the night. Well, that just sounds like every other broadcast, so. Here we go. You guys were being so civil before. What leak? I didn't show anything. Expanded. Did they 
they going again? Garganackle, nice. Pretty strong. Oh! Oh, the mix up. Okay. I might do my own Terra mix up here. Well, I can wait for Frost Maw. You guys ready for some killer bass playing? This guy goes ham! Hey! Gen 7 OU tournament? Okay. Pickup.
Whoa, I might have another leak. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh this was <laughs> I had a, a folder. I had a folder window still up. And if I clicked on it. <laughs> Let me uh, just move this over here. You know what, TRK, PJ, you guys have been kind so far. So, oh, you, I, I'm about to show you. I'll show you a glimpse. You ready for this? There you go. Ooh, now see, you already knew this. Oh, look, look, the <laughs> specific megabytes are listed. Yeah, that actually kind of shows how much work has been. Well, some of these got dragged out into the full. Wait, does that list the names? Okay, good. It didn't list the names of who's done. All right, move this over. Here we go. TRK is already trying to make his own balance patch. Come on, TRK, be patient. The Hoenn wave will be out in January. There you go. Probably they might hard switch into Swamper. Oh, okay. Substitute. Oh, okay.
probably in a sacred sword. Probably a trade if Larry um, can stay active. Oh, nice crit. That's good. Sash, do I outspeed? Two seventy nine. So I could do a double. Now, Scizor could have. Oh, Scizor's asleep. Yeah, that's good. Tinted limbs too. that person said GG so early. They seemed very polite at first.
probably gonna go what Landorus? Probably do payback chip. Dazzling Gleam. But yeah, my dad had his birthday today. Um, very good. We had a chocolate, a custom-made chocolate cake with like a, a light chocolate, like mousse icing, frosting, and raspberry filling. It was great. He has some presents. And he also... <laughs> He picked us up Taco Bell on the way home. It was funny. So we had Taco Bell and birthday cake. But, um, yeah, he's doing well. Michelle's doing well. I told him, uh, I think PJ will behave tonight on the broadcast. He's like, oh, is he on there often? I was like, yeah. You know, well, hopefully he doesn't bring up, you know, KU stats. Hey, you stats, my dad's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. TRK, um, you know, maybe you should work on good questions and then take that to school. There you go.
Well, TRK, I'm here to help you in the world to let you know that there are such things as some bad questions. Usually it involves someone's willful, will, willing, full, willing ignorance. There you go. Now, TRK, I know you're, you're, you're working on that. Well, at least I hope so. Yo, that's me giving the benefit of the doubt. Shame on me! You know what? That's on me. There you go. There's the correction. Shame. I don't, you know, there's no shame in me trying to see the best in TRK, but you know what? Maybe, maybe we've gotten past the point of no return. TRK, you, you got a long road ahead of you. I hope you leave college as a true scholar. Alright, so they're probably going to do Volt Switch. There you go, TRK, yeah! So probably, they might do Swords Dance. Okay, just acrobatics, that's nice. nice. Uh, acrobatics, close combat. I could wait a turn. Oh wow, that's good. I was wondering if they're gonna do Swords Dance or Close Combat. I guess High Jump Kick would be too. Today, keyword today. TRK. Have good priorities. Get that done and get some good rest. Yeah, there you go. I'll let my dad know uh, you wished him happy birthday. Well, you know what? Maybe you won't wish him a happy birthday. I think that's only PJ so far. <gasps> wow, TRK, and you met him. Spire, that TRK, Spire the Metroid character? He's pretty cool. We don't know Spire's dad right now. Hopefully one day we'll, we'll learn more about him. I'm sure he's a cool dude though. Again. Um, could do circuitry. I think they're gonna bolt switch. Oh, nice. Um, we could do this. I kind of want to, I don't, a Z electric train is not going to work though, because it's out right now. So we could do, I eh, we go for Quiver Dance now. Good switch. I was wondering if they're gonna just stay in. Yeah, so we're gonna do this. Now I can't. I don't think I'll get the speed boost. I mean, we could try. I've never tried this. It's going to fail the terrain. Maybe I still get the boost. 
Yeah, okay, so I still get the boost, that's good. Oh, <laughs> nice. So that, that looks like, yeah, that, that looks like Choice Scarf. I was wondering if they were going to go to Landorus. Good on them for staying in. Okay. Oh, nice.
I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, good one, lasagna. That's, a, that's like a sax classic at this point. 
um, in the elite channel, I'd like to vote for the next wave of cards. Like, oh, okay, Sack. Well, that doesn't exist. from a Torterra lead. <laughs> All right. Okay, lasagna, it's not too easy. You gotta stay humble. One of the greatest racing songs ever made? Yes. Alright, yeah. next topic. Raspberry filling in a chocolate cake. I had it for one of the first times today. I've had it, I know I had it as a kid. You know, some of those like Italian places like to put like raspberry filling in chocolate cake. Like years ago at a restaurant, I know I've had it before. Yeah, it's good. It's, 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 <laughs> but that's what my dad had for his birthday today. It, it, good taste, Dad. There you go. Alright, so they're probably gonna do Grassy Glide. shell smash so I'm gonna potentially sacrifice here we'll see yep. and then yeah Rillaboom makes it a bit tough we could do this
what what does the cat do when you get up? Oh, they are getting up. You've been you've been sitting. I mean, you. I mean, if you use the bathroom, what does the cat do? Just waits in the chair. Okay, they're probably gonna do hyper. Probably a psychic. Oh, seems like a good cat. From what I've seen and known, you, you definitely have a good cat on your hand. Is this special attacker? We'll just ice beam. Oh, is he like newborn? He looks newborn. Like what? A month? Kick, they might hyperspace fury mix up here. It's really good. Well, I don't know how much you know about Goldango, but his ability, good as gold, means no effects work on him. No effects at all. Like parting shot, sleep powder, thunder wave, don't work. In fact, Persian, my Persian has parting shot, which lets me switch out. If they switch into Goldango, I can't even switch because that's, that's part of the effect. No, Goldango's really good. And he's he's ghost. He's a ghost type, so you can't rapid spin. And because his ability, you can't use defog. So both of your ways to get rid of hazards don't work. So like this guy will get out three layers of spikes a lot of the time. And then they can switch into Goldango to stop you from getting rid of all those spikes. I think they're gonna speaking of. Um, I run Hariyama with Assault Vest here, and that's how I just beat him in this match, is I use knockoff and stuff. <laughs> he makes some people mad, it's really funny. Um... I'm gonna go to Hariyama now. Oh my gosh, I, this song is so good and like I was talking about Ocean Palace having a crazy 
Apex guitar s section where the, the, the player was like, hold on. In the recording booth? Yeah, they, they did it again. Different guitar player, but... Man, those, those guys at the Sonic Studio. Oh, here we go. choice card. Interesting. Probably gonna rock slide.
last match. You know, let me make sure I provide full content. I screenshotted smoke and toxicity left. Disconnect. <laughs> let me only get the, the full match. Hold on. Probably do Thunder Wave. So like Iron Valiant mix up. Do Iron Valiant. Toxic. Yeah, like toxic earthquake. Could do this. An early blitz. Poison.
stay committed to this until you, like, push comes to shove. Probably gonna throw out another Toxic. Oh, that's cool. stay in and try to get a toxic off. They could go to town flame. their last move is like probably something to hit like a ghost type bite crunch yeah, could be crunch Okay. 
here. So what we'll do is... Oh, they're still faster. Oh, yeah, because of those speakers. Right. Bite's good. Tidy up with the speed boost. Yeah, very good speed control there overall. Good use of high attack, even with burn, like with stuff like populate, population bomb is very good.
Battle Factory pickups. This choice car.
I think Dragonite probably has extreme speed. I'm at the yeah, Choice Scar Arcanine. Still, I think I think it's still extreme speed. Um, how much? Yeah, Forty-six. Could go into colossal right now. Um, could speed check Garchomp. Stay in for rough skin. Yeah, walking wake versus colossal. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna try to speed control here. Yeah, with, with static. He's pretty cool. He's on a suspect. I think he's about to be suspect tested. Yeah, nice skull. All right, pick up Battle Factory tournament. Yeah, some people are getting really mad at Goldango and Gen 9 OU. It's really funny. I don't mind him, but me and Lasagna were talking about him earlier. No, he's cool. He's a he's a 90s um, string cheese food mascot Pokemon. Pokemon 1000. Alright, so Gen 8 Battle Factory. For people tuning in, Battle Factory is just like in Gen 3, like Pokemon Emerald, where um, you have a preset of teams. It, it chooses a metagame from Gen 8, from Uber to Little Cup, and then you have a preset team. It's kind of like, uh, it's actually Showdown's version of like playing retro TCG formats. And there's 2010, 2009, 2008. Or something. I have a lot of fun with with the Battle Factories. Like they don't have Gen One. A few of the early gens they don't have Battle Factory, but the ones the the ones I have played are very fun. All right, so they're probably gonna start Landorus. Oh yeah, you choose three. That's right. This one isn't the full OU. This is uh. You pick three of the six, right, 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 okay. So this doesn't pick, like, OU. This is, like, in video game. This is, like, video game three of six, okay. So they're probably, again, I think they'll start Landorus. So they'll do Pre-Marina. I could try to find a pivot for... Garchomp. Leftovers. Yeah, she has leftovers. Okay. They might have Ferrothorn last. We'll do Yawn.
looks good. Staying in like that. Bird shop. Okay. So, choice scarf. See if Draco Meteor. Oh, Misty Terrain nerfs it. Yeah, okay. Nice. I didn't know that Misty Terrain nerfed uh, Draco Meteor. Pretty cool. Probably start Galarian Slow King. Oh, Greninja. Okay. Uh, they might have Ice Beam. Knock off. In case they go to Corbin Knight. Probably gonna like Ivy Cudgel. Case, even if they go Corbinite. play last time, dude. Yeah, 66. Probably they could Draco Meteor. We're gonna do this mix up. Sui and Lilligant looking like a Sun Sweeper, Walking Wake. We'll probably start with Torkoal. We can do a Hazard Trade. 
They might have scorching sands. We'll see. That might be Choice Scar fully invested attack. And we are going to do this. I think. Mm -hmm. Now. Could shell smash. I think they're trying to stall out the sun turns to refresh with Torkoal. Double 600. 600. 678. So even with two, two shell smashes on my outspeed wheel again. Um. I have heat wave here. Or defog. Heat wave or defog. That's fine, that's good. That heat wave is good on your side. That's fine. That's a good move there. It's just good on Zephyrus in general too. Um, let me do this. Let's start hazard stacking. Well, they're probably going to try to roost. What do we do? We go for double shell smash here. It's kind of a tough decision. Might use Stealth Rock here. Sacrifice Persian. Okay, I want Hariyama for King Gambit. Frostmoth, Terra Frostmoth might be able to pull this through.
especially if they're life orbed, I think I think Water Terra Frost Moth will live Hydro Seam. They might go to Dragon Pulse. I think even she would live that too. Okay. So we want probably to quiver dance. We have to live another hit. Actually use Frost Moth to check Torkoal, so we're gonna do this. Try to try to see if we can get a Flame Body activated. Okay. Looking at Roost. Oh, okay, Thunderbolt. Nice. So now I think we do Poltergeist. And then they might roost here. Okay, here comes... I'm gonna try to predict Sucker Punch here. Oh, they didn't do it. Sometimes they bank off of tanking Shadow Ball. So you gotta be careful there. This they double switch. Okay. The swords dance. pretty good good Terra mix-up um, I do go first that's pretty good yeah. I did that on purpose a few uh, broadcasts ago I knew I mean Hariyama checks a few things in the meta on purpose like uh, the set is to counter a few things <laughs> yeah so I a few broadcasts ago I was like I'm gonna put, you know how like some people like, they have an extra four EVs when you 252 and they just put it usually in defense. It's pretty good overall. This is the case where it's not even like four extra EVs because of the way I spread out special defense and HP, but <laughs> this is the case where four EVs lets you speed control King Gambit uh, if they don't invest in speed. Because they usually go, a lot of them go into like bulk and attack like sucker punch end game 
like cleaner sets. All right, I'll be right back.
Ooh, that might be Choice Bandit. Nice. Ooh, good switch. Uh, yeah, that risk is static. And they might do Hurricane or Bolt Switch. I think they'll probably do Hurricane in case I go to Torterra. Go to Great Tusk. Either way, some chip damage. Now that probably probably gonna do Future Sight. Hydro Pump, nice. scarf that fast of a switch might be a choice scarf oh hey yeah that flying terror gold dango is pretty cool i wonder if it has terror blast Yeah, that'd be, I mean, it could. Also, just flying Terra is good against, like, Earthquake. And stomping Tantrum. From, like, you know, Rillaboom, Landorus, or Landorus and Rillaboom, respectfully. I don't think Landorus learns Stomping Tantrum. Okay, it's probably Will-O-Wisp. Pump. We'll probably do it again. The prediction of Persian. It's a good uh, setup there. Ooh, yes, yeah, nice, nice. 
Okay, so... I could try it again. Honestly, I think I might... <clears throat> I might Terra just to get spikes up. Do it again. Okay, now we'll do... So they might do flash cannon here. Boop, boop, boop. Could try this. Um, Iron Valiant is Choice Scar. Might be Choice Scar. Just realize that.
Okay, so they're probably gonna... I could sacrifice Persian. Potentially for sacrifice. That's a lot of damage. Multi-dice. up here. Right here, right here. Bug Buzz. Wish. I predicted Protect. They didn't do it. In fact, they did Flip Turn. Pretty good chip. Magnazone Heal. Um. Yeah. That was big. Did they have. Did Alumamola have Protect as the last move? Yes. Okay, so that was their mix up. Good on them. It, it looked like a mix-up there. Yeah. Really good play. High jump kick. Good. 
Flavor Dance. Yeah, I would dance or two. Yeah, it's really good. Um, we'll do this. Alright, either Thunder Wave or Foul Play. I don't think Foul Play will knock out our choreo. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, with the the Alolan Muck curse set, I was like, ooh, even uh, even strong earthquakes might not do a lot that early on. But I I definitely was like, oh, I don't know if, how much earthquake from Torterra will do, and uh, I think in that case, yeah, you still go for it. Um, but yeah, that was that was a, a very good set on that Alolan Muck. Good team, good team overall. From what from what I saw, yeah.
<coughs> Excuse me. Might be unaware though. Magic card. Terra grass here. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Going for like hazard sack. Eh. I got Cinderace though. I gotta be careful. They hit into flame body that could be very good. And honestly, Terra wise, yeah. some chip damage. Might be protective pads. They might go Zamazenta. Ice. 
Mariam is very good with trades with Garchomp, the Ice Punch. So we will usually sacrifice Persian to see chip damage, yeah. Okay. Now... You know, we could do... This could be Choice Specs. I like Pulte Geist against these two healthy. Do this. I'm switching to Garchomp. Seeing how fast I switched into Hariyama, they might switch. Okay, they didn't. I think sometimes people might forget or underestimate Hariyama with Bullet Punch. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. Alright, here we go. Zamazenta versus Pulte, guys. We're probably gonna go for Crunch. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping I can potentially get strength sap, but yeah, it's good. They might roar. This might be stealth rock roar. the waters they don't have flash cannon though okay Us to rapid spin a predicted stealth rock. I am gonna stealth rock. move on him with Great Tusk, the 80 damage one. Trace for a defog play. Okay. 
Napoleon might have defog. Let's see. Probably gonna do a scald here. Excuse me. Pick up random mounts from it too. Just in case they go into Moltres. Okay. Troy Scarf set. Um, probably gonna do Flower Trick again. Start doing this. Okay, there's a juggle two matches potentially. Turn it up to start. Uh, definitely get that knockoff. Actually, I think they probably have Rock Slide. Okay. I actually gotta be careful because it guts. Could be thick fat, but. Ludicolo. Be really good. Mm -hmm. good. Now they might switch to Ludicolo. They're still doing the chip damage. I 
the Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond. Well, TRK, that sounds like a nice remedy with uh, bed rest. <gasps> and you know what? Too much writing for school. There you go, TRK. You know, put Highlander on the back. Burn. School is very important, TRK. I'm sure you already have a deck ready for the monthly. Don't worry. Thunder Punch, we'll see. Um, I could bank on them not having rock slide, that's for sure. Tom passed the lowered attack. Uh, 
Uh oh. Seventy-seven. Uh, we're getting close. I think it's worth risking the fire punch shift now. We could have sucker punch. Faster, but Ludico is already asleep. I actually think we need to go full curse now. They might they might go Deli Bird. Aerial Ace could just pierce this. So the title of the video, I want you to imagine 2010 era, excuse me, right? Christmas time, and you get packs like, um, Stormfront, right? It's nuts. All right, let me let me change the camera shift. There we go. Hey, oh, that's Wednesday. All right, this set is considered one of the best sets of all of Pokemon. So imagine, I remember getting a Stormfront starter deck. Oh, we got pulled out of two. Christmas. 2000 Stormfront was 2009. Wow. So Stormfront, right? And it came with Oh yeah, some of the coolest Booster pack art too, right? Um, the what is starter deck? 
Here it is. I got this 2009 Christmas. I'm telling you, TCG products just overall are amazing for like stockings for Christmas. Loved this deck. Came with Machop too. And of course, Stormfront Machamp is one of his favorite cards. Um, I mean, I like the whole Stormfront line, Machamp line. Love getting this card for Christmas. But yeah, it's, I mean, 2010 era had so many good cards in it that when you got a pack in your stocking, it was just overall great. I got some of these. I remember that. Rising Rivals. Also a great set. I got this. And, oh man, it was, I got this card, Gallade 4X, and, this card, Blaziken FB, Level X, and the same Christmas, and that was Christmas 2010, wait, let me get the, let me get the date correct, I remember I got both the Christmas 2011. 20... Yeah, 2011 is great. Both, um... Make sure I get this correct, though. No, he got me... I remember my... Santa. So my dad got me Rising Rivals and Supreme Victors packs. Christmas. I'm getting the dates correct here. No, this is 2010. Christmas 2010. I remember that. Yeah, and I pulled both Blaziken FBX and Gallade 4 Level X. And I only got... How many packs did he get me? He got me like three packs. Um, let me try to get this correct. No, it was one Rising Rivals, one Supreme Victors. At least those two. I'm trying to remember if it was a third pack. Also, no, TRK, these are SP Pokemon. And there's already Mega Absol. SP Pokemon are trainer owned. These are not regular Pokemon. Uh, that, that's a whole other thing. See, like, this is Cynthia's Garchomp level X. <laughs> Cynthia's Rayquaza. <laughs> that happened to like an anime dream world that Miss Magius made, but she didn't own Rayquaza in the games. Um, yeah, it was like just two packs. He got me Supreme Victors and. Rise Rivals, I pulled this and Gallade 4 level X. It was pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, that, that was great era to get cards in. We'll look at one more set real quick. And then I'll do one more match and we'll call it up. Uh, call the night. Yeah, Platinum. Heck yeah. One of my favorite cards. Yeah, Platinum had a lot of cool cards too. You can see a lot of the Highlander influence. Oh yeah, like these two. Heavy Highlander influence. Highlander influence. Highlander influence. Yup. Hey, yeah. Yep, Shaman, pretty cool. Oh, hey, I love this set, what a good set. There you go, there you go. All right, we'll only do one more game tonight, folks. Here we go. Might do on four.
Ooh, cool mix up. Amaya protect. Probably go for Magma Storm again. Their last attack might be Earth Power. That's cool here. I mean, we could take the risk and just do this now. Their last attack might be Earth Power, though. But I think in this case, I'm going to take the risk. Scout here. They're pretty good. They did. Let's see what they do though. Yeah, they don't sucker punch a lot right now. I've noticed that. Which is fine. I just gotta take note of that. Okay, you might still do a lot. I be careful. Okay, earthquake, earthquake. Nice. Yeah, so you have second punch. I think they'll switch this time. Might go into guard chomp. Okay, nine tails. do Persian here. Okay. Get some chip damage. Okay. 
Nice. Good. Alright everyone, well thanks for tuning in tonight. Again, happy birthday to my dad. He's, a, he's an awesome dad, very caring person. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. It was a great day today, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, always be safe out there, be safe while you're driving. Um, and then, when there, especially when there's like snow, sleet, hail, please slow down. It's worth it. Even if you're going to be late to work or school, it's important to be safe, um, especially for you and the other people on the road. But just drive safe in general. So. Have a good night.